Good morning. My name is Sheldon. Today is July 2nd, 2019, and it's the 48th day of being 28. I'm not sure if you could have seen that in the beginning, but my shirt's supposed to be glow in the dark because, you know, pajamas. It's currently about one in the morning. I can't go to bed at the moment. Do you ever eat too much food that you just can't go to sleep? Well, that's me at the moment. So at this moment, I'm just going to blog about my last vacation trip and maybe eventually post these videos online. I'm pretty sure by then you'll see it all by now. But yeah, other than that, yesterday was Canada Day. This was kind of a long day because I helped my aunt pick a dress for my brother's wedding. I was supposed to attend one of my friend's birthday party, but who knew that shopping for a dress would take longer? Maybe when you have the idea of what you want in your mind, you just stick with it. But me, just so fascinated with women's fashion, I just need to see it all. But yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna continue blogging and I'll catch you in the morning. It's about eight in the morning. I didn't end up doing a blog as I got aimlessly lost in the internet. And I also downloaded a bunch of new music. I'm especially looking forward to listening to Mika's Ice Cream. I really love that artist. So there's that. And today it's raining. I don't know if you can see that from my window. But it's quite a surprise. Yesterday it was really sunny. And today it's peaceful. But yeah, I'm gonna get ready for kickboxing. I'm gonna see what I can do today. It's hard when you have so many days off and you have no clue what to do. I know my videos can be a little bit repetitive, but that's just the beauty of randomly selecting every third day of my year. So I just finished kickboxing and it was really hard today. I was like non-stop sweating. I don't know if you can see my forehead, but yeah, I don't know what was going on. It was really warm in the class as I dropped everything. But yeah. Um, I don't know if you know this, but my friend Wilson from kickboxing told me that if you don't want your kickboxing glove to be smelly, all you gotta do is just add a dryer sheet. And oddly enough, it really works. So, all you do is if I can get this correct, you place it in, just like that. I like to place it in all the way, but I can't do this while holding the camera. Oh, actually maybe I can, but yeah. Yeah, so, something just like that, stuffed inside, and it comes out smelling fresh. But yeah, thank goodness it's a cold day. My sweat is drying up very quickly. Other than that, I'm gonna do more workouts later. But first, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. So here we are in Steveson, and we are going to the tanning salon. <laughs> I haven't gone tanning in a while. I actually originally went to go with my friend Yasu, who wanted to get tan so he can get himself a girlfriend, which he does now, but I don't get to see him as often because he's been working a lot lately. Yeah, it's summer season, so it's definitely busy. And Brienne told me that I should get a base tan before going to Hawaii for my brother's wedding, so that's what we're gonna do. We'll see how long I can spend, so yeah. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to see you a little bit later. Gotta protect your car from the sun. So I thought I was gonna go home and eat have lunch, but instead my aunt decides that she needs to buy pork butt from the grocery store. So here we are at the beloved TNT. Ended up at Langley Farm Markets instead. Apparently, the pork butt is better here. I heard that they're trying 
California or take down Mexican dollar store as well for like a $95 million deal. But yeah, mildly impressed by how much they sell here now. Yeah, trying to look for a roller for this ring bearer pillow that my aunt's making. So anyways. I'll see what we can find. But we're just gonna buy some food because my aunt does not want to make dinner. Um, heaven forbid that any of us should cook. But it's hard because everything's so convenient in grocery stores. Especially when the food looks good. Can you see? That's what kind of food do you want? Finally home and I got myself some Taco Luis. I think that's how it's pronounced Taco Luis. At least that's how I pronounce it all the time. I got myself a chicken burrito, which is something I've never had before because I usually get the beef, but I wasn't feeling it today. And out of curiosity, I want to know, what do you call this? This is a tater tot. I have referred to it as a Mexi fry my whole life. But it's interesting because the <clears throat> owner of the restaurant, he's Chinese. He used to be a doctor and then Ever since then, it's been a fan favorite of people of Richmond. Can't deny it. It's really good. He opened a second location. But he was at the Lansdowne location today. Interesting, right? I finally baked my chicken for work. It was like three and a half hours later. I took a nap and then I watched makeup and perfume review videos on YouTube because sometimes the voices are very relaxing. I got the recipe from this website. It's called ifoodreal.com and it was really good. It's very simple. It just involves avocado oil, paprika, garlic powder, oregano, salt, and pepper. All right, so the chicken is baked and we're just gonna make an easy salad with some spinach and arugula and a little bit of quinoa. I had some peppers, however, they already molded, so that's unfortunate, but it's going to be a simple lunch or meal because all my shifts are at night, majority of them at least. So yeah, I think that's about it for today. Probably just going to read a book. Yeah, it's still the same book. Rich people problems. I know some of you might think I'm a very slow reader. Yeah, I am. There was something that was interesting that happened to me the other day. I was on the Sky Train, and then a person just came up to me asking me how the book was. He wanted to buy the book off of me, but I got it from the library. Um, he was also reading China Rich Girlfriend, so that was utter coincidence. But yeah, do people not go to the library? The library is one of my favorite places. And that I'm sure you already knew, but yeah. Anyways, have a good night. Good morning, my name is Sheldon. Today is July 5th, 2019, the 51st day of being 28. And I just woke up from a strange dream. <clears throat> I haven't been dreaming in a while, but this one just came out of nowhere. Um, it involved someone close to me, and it evolved around the subject of death. I woke up very sad and miserable, but knowing that they're still alive was very calming. And I tried to understand what it meant. So naturally, I looked up at a dream dictionary, and it could represent one of two things. One, you don't want to be associated with the person. I think that's a little bit morbid. Or two, that a change is going to happen. I think that's what it means for me. Maybe like the need to grow up, or maybe it's, maybe I want to be more like that person, or maybe less of that person. I don't know. But yeah, do you ever have dreams like that? So instead of going to the gym, I decided to organize my closet, or at least put back the laundry that I've been meaning to put back into my closet. But yeah, you know. Is organized by items. I don't know if you want to see how I fold my underwear. It's just like that. And then I also fold my socks in a particular way. Not like this, but I'll show you in a minute. 
So this is how I fold my socks. They basically look like a square, nice and simple. And all you basically do is just fold one on top of the other, like so, inward. And you flip it around, and then you tuck the ends inside. Let's see if I can do this with one hand, for this matter. Just like that. Of course, it's a little bit neater if I had both hands. Then tuck in. Ooh. Ooh this would be tricky with holding a camera. Yep. Ta-da. But yeah. That's how I fold my clothes, or my socks. And then I'm gonna refold the rest. I've been listening to a lot of Janet Jackson lately in the car because I still like to listen to CDs. I don't know what it is, but I feel like CDs are still relevant, at least for me, because you get to listen to the whole album, you get to see like the artist's repertoire as opposed to like just the singles. Like some artists, I don't listen to their albums, I just only know their hit songs. And with Janet Jackson's Rhythm Nation, that's what I'm listening to at the moment, I'm surprised to know a number of the songs. Probably because my sister was a big fan of her, and it was my sister's album. But, <clears throat> gotta give it to Legends. Legends only, right? I don't know this song. But you're not. It's still a bop. <laughs> Speaking about Janet Jackson or African American artists or pop stars, Disney um, just announced that they had, it was, I believe her name is Holly Bailey, or Holly Bailey, that's how I'm gonna go, to be Ariel in the Little Mermaid remake. And for the first part, I thought they said it was gonna be Holly Berry because their names are very similar, not because of their skin color. Please don't come against me for that. But yeah, it's gonna be an exciting remake, but I can see why people are upset mm -hmm. because for most part, for when Disney does a live action remake of their animated classics, it's basically spot on to the original character. Like Belle was still a girl with brown hair. Cinderella was blonde hair. Mowgli was a little kid. I mean, they even got a lot of ridicule for casting Naomi Scott for Princess Jasmine as Aladdin. But yeah, you can see why. But good for Disney for trying something different. I know a lot of people are upset about the choice. But like, why you gotta be upset? <clears throat> Nothing, no harm in trying something new. We'll see what happens when the live action remake comes. I know a lot of people are not excited for Mulan because Mushu might not be in the movie, but and that the fact there's no singing, but why should Disney create a spot-on remake of an animated classic? That's why I really like Cinderella because it wasn't all singing. It was pretty similar, but they changed it up a little bit. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. Anyways. I'm pretty sure people are staring at me, filming myself, but gotta get to work. So I'm hungry at the moment, so I went to Salad Loop, and surprisingly, they also serve sushi. So, we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect from a salad bar? Yeah, it's not much of a taste, but yeah. So I just finished work and it wasn't a bad day. Feeling a little bit hot at the moment, maybe because it's Friday night. But yeah, I don't know. I'm not one to go out these days. Maybe if I find the right person or the right company. But yeah, do you still go out on Friday nights? Oh, can't help it. Anyways, just gonna head home. Hope you have a good night. Until next time. Hello, my name is Sheldon, and today is July 8th, 2019, the 54th day of being 28. I just got home from work, and I am coming home to some food. I don't know what's inside, but what is it? It's going to be oh, Vietnamese. That's tasty. But also, we have pizza. And this is 
We got cheese, we got veggie, we got pesto. And last but not least, my cousin Stephanie got me cookies from Hawaii. And let's look at the variety. Ooh, little cookie company. Ooh, that looks like we got some chocolate chips, some coffee, some vanilla. Thank goodness it's my day off today. I can pick out a little bit. Or munch a lot on a lot. It's been a long day to say the least. Work was just crazy. One thing after another. I guess that's why I like my job. After 54 days, I've decided that I'm finally uploading my videos. Beginning with day three. <laughs> I think I'm gonna upload like three days all together. So three, six, and nine. Then the next one will be 12, 15, 18. You know, because three is my favorite number. Anyways, um, got a lot to do today. I don't know if you really care what I'm wearing. I'm wearing an all black outfit. I basically pick what's at the bottom of my pile and the black shorts are there. So might as well. We're gonna see if I get a message back from my friend Daniel, if we're gonna work out today. If not, still got a lot of errands to run. But yeah, how many times should I upload a video? I was thinking about twice a week. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos lately, just seeing with the pattern. But again, it's just a personal diary, if anything. Hopefully you enjoy the ride. We'll be back. Okay, so change of plans. Instead, we are dyeing fabric with this big pot of turmeric. I've got the fabric over here. It's got a nice diamond pattern. We're finally going to finish this pineapple ringberry pillow. So hopefully I don't lose my mind. Hopefully it all goes well. We'll see what happens. Pouring the fabric. Hey. Ready? You just pour it in. And then you let it die. And then we're also going to try the mesh. And then you just let it sit for 15 minutes. So we'll see what happens. Pull it out. Let's see. No, it's still white. You mean it's still white? Yeah, it's still white. What do you mean? So it sits again for another 15 minutes. And look at our beautiful chopsticks. Different variations of yellow. Find out what color perfection it will be. Well, it looks like we finally made it to the gym. It's been about a month since Daniel and I have been together to the gym. But that's what happens when you have different schedules. Anyways, we work it at the YMCA. Who doesn't love it? Cheap for what it is, but yeah, not a bad gym, don't you think? All kinds of fun. So I just finished from the gym and I was surprised to see a parking ticket on my dashboard despite having paid for parking, but apparently you need a parking pass. Which, was, which is weird because it's been issued since January, but for the past like five times I've driven here, I didn't need it. But anyways, it's been like a month since I've been to the gym. So hopefully it gets disputed. But anywho, we're gonna go to Kitsilano. We're gonna get these pants hemmed and probably just call it a day. Maybe finish the book. Yep, still reading rich people problems. And yet, I already borrowed another book. It's called Chinglish. It's a play. I don't really want to know what it's about. But, I'll see you later. I don't find a lot of boutique clothing stores in the area. I never heard of Gravity Co. But they sell shoes. Um, and I can see it down the lane. But we do see Trinity's coming up. I don't know. I, don't, I used to come to Kitsilano for yoga. It's been a while. I guess it's just time to try new things, right? Anyways, here we are. Getting these. The logo. 
They used to be the makers of Lululemon, Chip Wilson. And now they have their own little half Asia. What? They'll totally love their brand new limited edition Vancouver choke. Days. And now we're at Whole Foods, home um, of um, all kinds of Gucci food. But yeah, isn't that amazing? All this prepared food. And there's more. There it is. Anyways, I'm gonna get some biscuits later on. But I don't know if it really works. But otherwise, I'm not bad. Did, did you ever get into a craze? So instead of getting ice cream, I ended up getting myself some peppers. Because, you know, meal prep is important. Yeah, that's gonna be tomorrow. There are a few ice cream stores in the area. We'll check them out. We'll see. We'll see how long the line is. <laughs> Nothing screams like Vancouver with a $10 pint of ice cream. But this one's really, really good, so I'm gonna share that. Probably gonna be finished by today. But all in a day's work, I suppose. I don't need those calories again. So I'm just heading home from Vancouver. And the one thing I do like about driving from Vancouver are the neighborhoods because it's an easier way to get back and it's fun because you get to avoid the traffic and just get to take it easy. But yeah. So we're pretty much at the end of the day. I've spent too much time playing phone games. Um, what else happened? I took a nap after working out. I don't know if you have that bad habit. That's mine. Um, I don't know. I burnt my favorite candle. It's black tie from Bath and Body Works. Hopefully you get to see that. For some reason, the scent is only sold during the Christmas season, which I don't quite understand because I don't really associate it with the holidays, but it's black. Um, other than that, pretty good day. Can't complain. Pretty sure you're gonna do a few more things. I've run a few errands for tomorrow. I gotta stop doing this. I feel like every time I view my videos, all I do is just like, stroke my hair at the back. I mean, that's one of the things of having long hair. But until then, We'll see you next time.